Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch Spider-Man Remastered Game on your computer and if you are receiving this error which says the game has crashed due to using more video memory than currently available on this PC. So if you are receiving this error message whenever you launch the game or while playing the game if you are receiving this error message then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computers. Do not ignore this, just restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game this error should go away but still you are receiving this error message then turn off ray tracing now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so turn off ray tracing for this go to steam launch the game now over here you will see pre-launch settings so click on settings now go to graphics scroll down and if ray tracing is on over here turn it off so turn off ray tracing and then click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to uninstall graphics driver and then do a clean installation of your graphics driver so first of all open windows settings and then go to apps now go to apps and features now in the list find nvidia or amd drivers so if you have nvidia card look for nvidia drivers so this is the nvidia graphics driver so click on uninstall so uninstall all the nvidia graphics drivers so click on uninstall 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 now once the uninstall is complete now if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website after you uninstall AMD graphics card driver then go to AMD website and then install the latest driver from AMD website. I am showing for NVIDIA how to do a clean installation of NVIDIA drivers. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list, make sure that you select the right operating system over here, then click on start search, scroll down, this is the latest update, click on get download. Once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue then put a check on the box which says custom then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer. Now the next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game file go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game. Now the next step is to update windows to the latest version. Make sure your windows is up to date. Now this is very important. Do not ignore it. Go to the start menu. Click on settings. Now go to update in security or windows update and then click on check for update. Over here you will find check for update option. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed then click on restart now or simply restart your computer. Click on update and restart and after the system restart launch the game. Now if you face any kind of issue while updating your windows 10 or 11 then you can use windows update assistant or windows 11 installation assistant. So if you have windows 10 copy this link. If you have windows 11 then copy the next link. So windows 10 users open this website windows 11 go to this website windows 10 user click on update now and then run this exe file this will launch windows update assistant and if you see the install option or update option update it in my case this is already up to date now windows 11 users click on, here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download then run this exe file click on yes to allow this will again launch windows 11 installation assistant over here i don't have windows 11 but if you have windows 11 you will see the install option or update option if there is any pending update install it and then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now you can also use media creation tool to update your windows from microsoft website so still you are unable to update your windows then use media creation tool to update your windows 10 or 11. if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool Click on download tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next.
it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install and once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again it will check for update. Now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation log into your computer. Now the next step is for Xbox controller user. So if you are using Xbox controller then install Xbox accessories app. So open Microsoft store and in the search box type in Xbox accessories and then install this application so if you see the install option install it open it and then launch the game now the next step is to enable dedicated graphic card in device manager so my, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager expand display adapter and make sure your dedicated graphic card is enabled over here so if you if this is disabled make a right click and over here you will see enable device option so make sure your dedicated graphic card is enabled in the device manager. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. For this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. All the steps remain same for Windows 11 users as well. So now click on browse. Now go to the game installation folders. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. For Steam user go to program files x86. Now Open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. Now if you bought the game from Epic Games Launcher, then open C drive. Open program files. Over here you will find Epic Games. Or you can go to program files x86 and if you see Epic Games over here. But I don't think the game is over here. The game is under program files. Program files, you will find Epic Games, open that Epic Games and then you will find the game folder, open the game folder. In my case, the game is installed in E drive. So Steam folder, Steam apps, common and then open the game folder. Now select the game exe file over here. Now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Now once the game is added over here, click on it and then click on options. Select high performance over here. High performance, then click on save. Now launch the game. Next step is to disable overlay and other overlay applications. So first of all, dis disable Steam overlay, make a right click on the game, select properties, uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So uncheck this and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, close Discord. If you have GeForce Experience running, close GeForce Experience. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to disable full screen optimization. For this, make a right click on the game, select manage then click on browse local file. This will straight away take you to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to compatibility tab and then by default these two will be unchecked. Do not make any changes with run as administrator. You can try this but Epic Games Launcher will receive LS0013 error. For Epic Games Launcher, do not try this. So you can try run this program as an administrator for Steam users. Also, 
you put a check on disable full screen optimize optimization and then click on apply click on ok make a double click over here and then launch the game now the next step is to try dx11 in launch option i know the game is not supported even if the game is actually direct x12 supported so still uh, you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the general tab under the general tab here you can see launch option in, over here you can type in dx11 dash dx11 so type in dash dx11 now launch the game if that does not work you can remove this no problem now the next step is to disable integrated graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card so in that case you can disable integrated graphic card you can try this so make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter and make a right click on intel your integrated graphic card and then click on disable device and then launch the game once you are able to launch the game you can always enable your make a right click and then click on enable device so you can always enable your integrated graphic card once you are able to launch the game successfully so try this if that does not work you can skip this step now the next step is to close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi after burner running on the computer close msi after burner now if you have revert tuner running close revert tuner so close all the overclocking application also remove undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory for this type in view advanced system settings in the search box and then click on view advanced system settings now click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here by default automatically manage paging file size for all drives would be selected over here uncheck this box uncheck it and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom icon custom size now initial size would be this is this is working for me so you can try this so initial size is 1.5 into total ram now total ram you can find it go to settings and then go to system and then go to about in my case the total ram is 8 gb so total ram is 8 gb so 1.5 into 8 gb first of all we will convert 8 gb into megabyte so open calculator as per my ram my total ram is 8 gb into 1024819 in megabyte so initial size is 1.5 into total ram so into 1.5 so in my case it's uh, 12288 Now, maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Total RAM is 8192 into 3. Into 3. 24576. 24576. Now click on set. Now click on OK. And then click on OK. OK. Now launch the game. But still you are facing the problem in that case you can revert back you can just go back to the auto so you can again type in view advanced settings if it's not working in that case you can go to settings advanced and then again put a check on the box which says automatically manage manage paging file so you can put a check over here if that does not work you can revert back now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so if you're trying to launch the game on multiple monitor then try to launch the game on single monitor unplug all the usb devices which you're not using so if you have extra uh, devices connected to the computer disconnect it also close all these software so if you have this software running close it make sure only the steam and the game is running or only the epic games launcher and the game is running rest close everything including all your browsers again remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your hardware now try window mode and then lower down graphics settings for this go to steam launch the game now go to settings over here and then select window mode turn off hdr and make sure your graphic card is selected over here 
and you can turn off this upscale method dynamic resolution scaling you can also turn off vsync or you can keep it on check which one is working fine for you now click on ok now go to graphics now if everything is set to very high you can select high you can try medium or you can even try low so you can try this under display try to if you are selecting full screen then you can lower down the display resolution so try to lower down graphic settings and then check which one is working fine for you so one of the steps should help you to get rid of the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel